I'm a lesbian. Do you want to know why I'm a lesbian? It's because I have short hair. <laughs> I'm joking. That's what you call stereotyping. And I'm not a lesbian, so I'm sorry if I disappoint anyone in the audience. I'm here today to talk to you about stereotypes. For those who don't know what stereotypes are, I'm going to explain it to you. A stereotype is a judgment that we make of who a person is just by their race, their appearance, their sexuality, or even by their group of friends. For example, you're walking down the road, you see a girl with glasses, and you think, what a nerd! It's not funny, it's wrong. Well, today I'm going to share something personal with you, an own experience I've had with stereotypes. I was about 12 years old when this happened. I was walking down the road with my mum, and my mum has a lot of tattoos all over her body. As you can see, she's right there. <laughs> and I hear this man commenting to his friend, Oh my gosh, look at that woman over there. So many tattoos. She must be a drug addict. No, just no. My mom is not a drug addict, and Eva is someone who has a lot of tattoos. So could people stop being so narrow-minded? It's like, it's like we live in some critical world where being an Arab automatically makes you a terrorist, where being a German makes you a Nazi, where by being Indian means you have to eat curry 24-7, where just by being Filipino means you have to work in a nail shop. <laughs> Things like that. They... They aggravate me so much. I bet everyone who's standing here today has stereotyped someone and have been a victim of stereotyping. I bet it's a nice old laugh when you're stereotyping someone, huh? But I also bet it makes you feel like crap when you're the one getting stereotyped. So, I'm just going to leave you with this message. Next time, you're walking down the road, you see a girl playing football, or a black guy with his hood up, don't think the girl's a loser, or the black guy's going to mug you, or stab you, or rob you. Because... You don't know the truth. You don't know who they really are. For example, the girl. The girl might be practicing for a professional football tournament. And the black guy, he might be on his way to visit his nan at the hospital. And as the saying goes, never, ever judge a book by its cover.